all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell y'all league. So, we, oh, child, we about to get into Tay's video. It's a lot going on today. This should be the last one from me today. I am exhausted, okay? They put me to work today, baby. But, yeah, we about to get into that, you dig? That's all I got because I'm anxious to know what she gonna talk about. <laughs> Let's get it. Straight to the bullet points uh -oh. and not drag this along. Although I'm telling you this right now, this has to be a long explanation. Although I don't want to have to speak about this for a long time because you, in order for you guys to understand why we're here, why it took me so long to post what I had to say, why I posted it when I posted it and all the other questions in my control and in my narcissist and was I really abused? All of those questions. You have to see the patterns of the people hmm. that we're talking about, which is me and her. And I can't explain patterns of people without explaining our history. Uh, to what the fuck? She, she already said. Okay. See why we ended up where we are. Before we get to that, though, I want to talk, talk about this video that you guys see on though. I want to talk about this video that you guys see on TikTok. This video that you guys see on TikTok is a video of Lanai's dad and myself. Two months ago, I blocked Lanai's dad as well as the rest of Lanai's family. The reason I did that is because as a part of my recovery and healing, I had to let go of her family because ultimately it was her family. And because it was dangled over my head as her family so often, I had to cut out that way to control me. So I would have preferred to be by myself and manage and learn to deal with shit by myself than to feel like I'm intruding on her family. So two months later, we fast forward to two months later, I dropped this video on YouTube, the last video about what happened. And I'm sitting on the balcony trying to de-stress because obviously this is a, a very stressful thing. And I see Kenny running up my staircase you have to know how scared i was because again i haven't spoken to this man in two months i'm assuming he's coming to avenge his child's mother and i don't know even though i know him to never like be a way towards me at all i don't know him really like that it's been two months there's a lot of shit that has transpired in those two months when i opened the door he gave me the biggest hug of my life and instantly Everything, all the stress and tension that I was feeling and thought about, it went away. <clears throat> I have to think. I don't know what they got to do with the price of tea in China. All right. Mm, hold on. Just give me a fuck. A second is needed in this very... price of tea in china okay i just i needed to think real fast why did it go away because a person that actually was there who is not related to me who has no loyalty to me could show up for me and let me know you see me and i'm still family that's so freaking important in this situation because i need you guys to understand if the way i'm being presented was the true person I am, okay? Was the true person I am? Why? Why would I be able to garner that type of support from a person who has no loyalty to me? 
Why? Hold on, just a lot been going on today. I need a second, every every second. Um, you said, "Why would you cut up?" Okay, why would you cut up that person? Because I understand your baby mom, not your baby mom, his baby mom ain't got no loyalty to neither one of y'all and shit like that. But you gotta understand that the, the child support being paid and the child support was being paid from you, so the child support gonna have to come from you because he still need that child support. So he not trying to take that child support away from you, so he gotta make sure that you good because if he if he don't make sure that you good, then, then he still won't be getting the child support. He had to make sure he covered Covered the child support, but all right, I ain't tripping. The conversation was innocent. The vibe was was uplifting, and I'm just very thankful that I received that that little blessing. Although he might not understand, I received that little blessing to feel empowered to know that. Somebody who actually was actually there, not uh, my friends or family or her friends or family who never saw anything but heard stuff. Somebody who actually experienced the both of us could show up and say, I see you, sis. Let's get to the video. Everything I say in this video is all going to have a purpose. I'm so sorry if it appears long-winded, but that's just the nature of this type of video because you cannot explain how drastic things became without explaining the little things that happened leading up to it so you guys could see how i got caught up in this shit in my perspective i'm gonna keep saying things from my perspective because she's gonna have her perspective i'm gonna have my perspective my ultimate feelings for why this happened for me and why i allow myself to be in a position where i could be manipulated abused and used in the ways that i was if you haven't seen the video, she had proven I was abused out of my Instagram. It's located in the highlight section titled, What Happened? Hmm. It's because I was given little crumbs of the truth for a long time in our relationship. And the little crumbs of truth that I was giving made me feel like this person needed help. And this person was going through some crazy stuff with her child's father, with this, with that, with that and that. And ultimately, she didn't deserve any of it. So when you're given little crumbs and then you start to find out the more and more... No, 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 Friend, 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 I gotta, I gotta give you something. Understand that you wanted us to hear her side and make sure that she admitted that she was abusing you. She did. So after she admitted that she was whooping your ass because you was technically whooping her ass and both of y'all was honestly whooping each other's ass, which means both of y'all was wrong as the fuck, all right? Let's just make it very clear that both of y'all were toxic. In the situation of her moving in because you wanted some love, she wanted some love. Remember, she was the one who empowered you to be the person you became. You had already said that. So you needed her confidence. You get what I'm saying? You needed the confidence from her. Right. So in order for her to give you that confidence, it came at a cost. So y'all started doing YouTube. That shit started making money. You didn't give her any money. Now, I am one to say if you ain't putting in no work, baby, you don't need to get no money. However, I'm not going to stop you from getting nothing to eat. I'm not going to make sure you good every time that I'm good. And if I'm the one that's holding down the household, whatever I get, you get. As long as we can handle it if we can afford it. That's how that's going to go. I ain't going to cap. I ain't seen her in no Balenciaga. I ain't seen her in no Gucci. I ain't seen her in none of the shit that I've seen this one in. You know what I'm saying? From the past videos, it was given very much its fashion and uh, shopping on Broadway. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I, I, I can't believe she's going to come to this video and absolutely uh, just talk shout it down but we only five minutes in so true because the person has to start the revealing more of the truth so they can explain their circumstance it took a long time for me to get the full cookie y'all it took a long time for me to get the full cookie i need to also state that 
a lot of the things that I'm going to talk about or try to address along with the things that I want to address already might, I don't know if they're going to be all the way correct because I have not watched Lou's video. I cannot watch Lou's video because at this point in time in my life, it, it's too painful to watch. I'm not going to cap. It's just too painful to see, to, to feel like, like it's that, like, you just can't say sorry. Like it has to be everything else, but just saying sorry. But so I had, I asked a friend to tell me the main parts of it so that I could respond to it, but not, I don't know if I'm responding. Like somebody said they both was dripped out in the comments. So I digress perfectly because I can't watch it. All I can do is, you know, go based off what my friend told me mostly she was talking about. <laughs> So number one, it, I, I'm assuming she mentioned that she's an atmosphere model. Y'all already saw the what? messages of when we first met. The first thing I ever asked this woman is, is she, is she a model? The first thing she ever told me was no. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Not got receipts to. I hope this reaches you. <laughs> Great spirits. I don't know what to say or why I'm sending this. I'm sure this will get lost in the sea of messages. I guess I'll just say good luck in all of your endeavors. Vibrate high queen. I appreciate the good vibes. What's your name? Random question. Do you model? My name is Lou. What's yours? I used to. It's never been a passion of mine, though. I just fit the bill. Tall, skinny. So I went along with it for years. So to answer that, no, I don't. Not any longer. Well, she said not any longer. Okay. This is real Instagram DMs. It's the same Instagram DM that I have. The same Instagram DM that... She also said that she basically was supposed to go to a party and make that shit lit. So this, I'm sorry, this is not making a point. She's being very literal, but this is not a point. She has. So from the first moment, I was not told something true. But, okay, we're going we to say that, you know, you she. I did find out that she was at Miss Permata, but we're going to touch base on that. Huh? Lou had a lot of time to vet the person that I was because Lou knew who I was. She contacted me first before I knew who she was. And that's also clear in the messages. Lou saw the type of girlfriend I was to my previous girlfriend. She already saw it. I'm just making sure you guys understand. Everything I say holds value. She already saw that I was a good girlfriend. So in her already seeing that I was a good girlfriend, in hindsight, I realized I was the perfect mark for her. Okay? We'll get to it. She questioned me about if I had a girlfriend. I told her yes. She backed off. I deleted all the pictures of my girlfriend on my page, like not shortly after because I was, it was really rocky, which I described. And shortly after that, she spun the block. We had the whole we had the whole conversation, whether you be a model, whatever the case may be, whatever the case may be, it was a good conversation. It led to our first date. So red flag number one is you telling these people you a model, but the first thing you told me was you're not a model. Because I only asked her because I was practicing photography in the moment. And I felt like that would be a great, you know, first day. Let me shoot you. Like, you know, I like, try to be like a little cute, cutesy, dootsy, whatever. In the conversations that we have, I need y'all to understand Lou has a crazy gift of gab. It even it even shows up on the, the, the camera. She's very soothing. I'm not soothing. I'm really rough around the edges. I'm from New York. She's very soothing, very namaste, very Erica Badu. And that's what she was giving me in a moment where I just had come from a situation where a, a girl didn't tell me she had an STD that she knew she had until very late in the relationship. Okay. So I'm coming from a very vulnerable space where I'm like, oh my God, like, I, thank God I escaped not having that. But like, this is crazy. Like I'm going from like a person with a, like a very like attitude to this like namaste oh my gosh you want a crystal type of person so I'm like this is great and also when I had the conversations with Lou she would show me things like show me pictures of things about her life that would allow me to believe she was living a life that I later found out again the little crumbs you're giving a person not giving them the whole cookie giving little crumbs to a person I would later find out was totally false she would show me pictures of like the way she was living and it would be like a picture of a penthouse and like things that were like way more than I could afford. Okay. Like not things that were in my budget or whatever the case may be. And I just, it just led me to believe that she was like, you know, a stable person. Like she had it, she had it. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's good. I got my version. I don't have a lot, but I have enough to, you know, you know, take you out, make sure I could take care of myself, things like that. I was a social worker. Y'all all know that I had the same job for seven years, promoted throughout the job, but the same, worked at the same place for seven years, graduated, went straight to work. That was my life story. As clean, freaking cut as a freaking can get, bro. Like never no trouble, never nothing like that. Never been in no trouble before. 
The second red flag for me should have been that you live in a penthouse, but you don't have a phone. You don't have no phone. Why? According to her at the time, it was broken. Again, I will let it let you guys know what really happened. According to, to, to her, it was broken. And that's why if she was out, she couldn't call or whatever the case may be. And she had to wait for signals or whatever the case, go to Dunkin' Donuts, whatever. So you're living in a penthouse, but you can't afford to replace your phone. For Mind you, we were talking for a while, like at least a week. I can't remember the exact amount of time, but she didn't come meet me right away. We were talking for at least a week before she came. So you mean to tell me in a week you can't replace your phone? I should have known better. Again, I'm enamored. I am just enamored by this beautiful person uh, wanting to talk to me. So I overlook all of that stuff and eventually we decide to meet. This is where the third red flag should have come in. I buy the first round of drinks. I got the money on my card, so yeah, paid for it. She goes, says, oh, I'm gonna get the second round of drinks. She goes up to the bar. I realize she's taking a long time. So I go up like, yo, what's going on? She's like, oh my gosh, I don't know what's happening. I don't know, I don't know why. Like my, my card is not working. So I go ahead and pay for the round. And I'm like, you know, that can happen to anybody. It has happened to me before. Don't worry about it. Like we, we have, was having a great vibe. I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention to the things right in freaking front of me, y'all. I found out that she's an atmosphere model and initially it's presented the same way it's been presented to you guys on, on camera. You know, she just had it going on. She had this job and stuff like that and all this stuff. I'm going to tell you guys what atmosphere modeling for her really was. When you're an atmosphere model, you can be paid. Some people are paid. Some people do it for trade. Okay. Some people trade. She needed somewhere to stay. We already know that. She... <laughs> She needed somewhere to stay. She did not have no money. She blatantly made it clear that the only thing that she possessed at the moment was an iPad. And to be honest, I think she told her that. I think she told her that. She didn't have shit. You knew that. Now, she may have said I was an atmosphere model that may sound crazy to you. Obviously, whatever you've seen with her lifestyle, that's something you was infatuated by. But if she honest enough to tell us, I definitely think she was honest enough to tell you. Just like in the video where she was saying, uh, nigga, I don't have the space to love you. I don't have the capacity to fuck you. I don't have the capacity to help you. I want to get the fuck away from you. So if she could keep it honest with you in a heated moment, if she could keep it honest with us in general, she got to be able to keep it honest with you. I don't believe that. <laughs> the atmosphere gig that. for housing. And there's no income. Okay? She said that though. Now she may not have said I'm I'm making money. She said that the shit was for her housing. She said that. Y'all, she said that. The in, but you're getting it may paid. not have been word for word, but she said that to like, to live there. That's how you get paid. You get paid via free rent. She needed somewhere to live. Got it. So when she was showing me pictures of this penthouse and all that stuff, I did not know that there were 15 other girls living in that penthouse. I thought it was just her. And her sister, which is obviously not really her sister, but the person she called her sister. I thought it was just them. That's what I was led to believe. When I actually started to spend more time with her, the little crumbs started to be given to me, little by little, to start to manipulate me. I'm going to tell y'all the crumbs right now. Number one, she never, and if she lies, she was not getting paid to be an atmosphere model. She was getting paid to live there when you she didn't lie and this is why y'all aren't good on communication because you don't hear shit i ain't even gonna lie this one don't me hearing nothing like <laughs> you ain't heard shit she said because she done already said i didn't have no money she also said that she only had an ipad that was the only working thing that she could communicate on she also said that she goes to parties to be a little model to just basically have housing. She even called it housing. She didn't lie about this at all. So this is very relevant. But all right. You atmosphere model, the, I mean, when you're atmosphere model, the goal of it is for you to go into the club. They give you lots and lots of liquor. Listen, because this is life. where alcoholism begins. They give you lots and lots of liquor and they want you to party, dance, and just 
improve the atmosphere of the club. That's what I, a lot of y'all don't know what, what it is because said. I didn't know what that is before I, until I met her. I'm sorry. That's what she said. I'm confused because she said this. And improve the atmosphere of the club. The to, problem. She, what she said was to make it seem like everything is lit. With her gig was once she, like most people that do that, that don't receive money and just do it for housing, usually have a job, like have an actual job, like during the day because you do it at night and you don't have to do it every single day to week. You do it sometimes. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times they had a job, like they were a waiter or they were doing modeling gigs because they were all models right. that were supposed to be in there. Lou did not have an extra job. She just did the atmosphere modeling. So she just had housing. She never had an income. And this is very important to note. No. What you think is that what we took from the video is um, she I, when she said, I got to go back to work. She wasn't saying go back to work for money. She was saying go back to work for housing. She made that very clear that she didn't want to lose her housing. Like the bullet points was pointing in that video, bitch. I was broke. I was trying to make a better life for my daughter. However, she seemed fit. She got a, a job for housing. It was some little gig where you could basically model, but make it look like the club is lit. You in there doing you. She has somewhere to live. It don't matter what you think about her situation. She has somewhere to live period. Also, it's very important to know, because these are all the things that will take the whole situation out of context. Like, I forced her to move in with me. Absolutely not. She did not say you forced her to move in with her at all. You did not listen at all to what she said. And this is why y'all are not together. She said that both of y'all were feeling it, each other. Y'all was feeling the situation. Y'all was having sex multiple times. For the whole 30 days, I know for a fact because I've done the same shit. Hello, lesbian me. I fucked a girl for nine months straight every fucking day. I thought it was the craziest shit in the world, but that's what happened. She never said you forced her. I was given a sob story and in my ways, generous ways, but she already vetted. This is terrible. She already got to see how I was with my last girlfriend. I was the mark. I was the next mark. <sighs> Anyways, what I found out not too long after was one, she because she didn't have an income, a lot of times she couldn't go see her daughter. She couldn't even afford 25 bucks to go see her daughter. This is what I was told at the time. Let me make it clear. This is what I was told at the time. She couldn't afford those type of things and she had a very tumultuous situation with her child's father and he didn't allow her to see her or whatever the case may be he was keeping her from uh, she kenny was keeping her or whatever the case may be all of this stuff all of this stuff and just fyi kenny can confirm everything i'm saying but i just don't feel that need i don't know if i said that already but i just don't feel that like we like that's that he probably was keeping her away from her daughter she was living in a penthouse with 15 women drinking a lot we know she already admitted to it. This is what I love about the truth. <laughs> I love telling the truth because it's like, and, and, next. <laughs> Nick, you know, sometimes you be goddamn real selfish with your friends and shit because goddamn, um, you be, you know what I'm saying, you don't want a nigga to fuck with niggas who you don't fuck with. I, and I don't. I got a problem with that. And, <laughs> like, you either gonna fuck with me or you not. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I give you me. You already know. I give you me. Next. That's not necessary <laughs> at this point. What Lou did have as a form of income was Matthew Rosansky's black card. Amex black card. Voice told me to call her on the black card. <laughs> she said, please call me on the black card. You want to talk on the mic? The whole, you got to listen to the whole thing and then call me back. Okay, okay, okay. Call me back. <laughs> okay? Okay. Who is Matthew Rosansky? Not put his Matthew Rosansky was a previous boyfriend that she had at Bowie State, where she went. And seeing as though he was rich, 
money for him being missing was not as noticeable. Okay, we're going we gonna to get there. And this goes, this goes back to the first time she tried to buy me a drink. What had happened was on the first date with Lou, and this is so ironic, the card that she tried to use was turned off. Why was it turned off? Matthew Rosansky had been out of the country for two months. He gave Lou his card. They weren't together. He gave Lou, but they still were obviously in contact, and they were still, I guess... According to her, she would do, give him sex, have sexual relations with him in order to get whatever she needed. This is according to her, okay? We'll say allegedly, because I'm sure she will change it now. She ain't changing shit. Matthew gave her his card, and this is, again, confirmable. This is all confirmable, and I'll tell you how it's confirmable. Matthew gave her his card for groceries once or, or maybe an airbnb whatever the case may be i don't remember exactly what it was for she took that card and ran it up for forty thousand dollars okay when he returned back to the country he realized what she did started sending her threatening text messages and reached out to all of the people that she had sent money to in regards to it and i'll explain to you why what she would do Lou does not, I don't know if she has one at this point in time, but for the majority of our relationship and for the majority of her life, she has not had a working bank account or working any of those things, being able to have her own phone line, any of that stuff, because she ran, she maxed all of that stuff up. She, she fucked up her credit score or whatever the case may be. She, she ruined all of that stuff at a young age. So again, she presented to you guys as a whole person who was just living it up. And I came in and was so destructive. In reality. Are you feeling destructive? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I need to hear what Voice is saying about this credit card because I'm going to tell you what I feel after Voice say what she say because. <laughs> what you got to say about the credit card? I was just about to fucking say. <laughs> Bitch, if my coochie got 40000 that's what it was. That's exactly what the fuck I was going to say. She ran up 40000 with the cooch. Bitch, yes. Can I ain't even got my hand clap on the damn thing. Everybody. Girl, the nigga was out of the country. Excuse me. The bar is on me. <laughs> Everyone, you get a shot. You get a shot. 1942 who? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is you talk about? What that got to do with the president of China? <laughs> if anything, we need to be calling Matthew. We need to call Matthew Zusinski. <laughs> I need to find Matthew. Okay? Cause baby, we can make some shake. I got a couple pictures outside that the goddamn just of a hundred from her. I like Matthew. It ain't tricking if you got it. Hello? <laughs> what the hell, Rama? Okay, friend, let me finish this video. Okay, <laughs> Reality. Like, what the fuck? Lou was scratching and surviving, bro. And uh, that's no joke. We know. <laughs> Listen, I done did a couple scams. My bank accounts were fucked up. When I moved to Atlanta, I couldn't even get a bank account. You think what I'm saying? When I moved to Atlanta, moved in with somebody, got kicked out. I had to stay with my girl now, sister. You know what I'm saying? After that, moved in another apartment on somebody else's name. Oh, the list gets long. I don't give a damn about none of that shit. She was surviving. It is what it is. Life is rough for some of us, okay? That's her story. 
But we already know that she already admitted to all that. Now, I ain't going to lie. She ain't tell us about Mike Zuzinski. And I'm going to tell you right now, friend, go find that nigga, bitch. If you can run off for this hour, tell him you apologize about the whole situation. Or go find you another motherfucking Mike Z- Zucchini and tell that nigga that you need a couple more dollars. And cash at me a couple thousand. Because I'm just saying, 40000 baby, ran it up. What that got to do with her, though? She had just got the only means of income she had cut off because he came back into the country and figured out that she had ran his bill up to 40 k okay. How did he know? Because he went to his freaking Amex report card. Not report card, my bad. Report the bill. Saw Kenny's name along with all her other friends because what she would do, again, this is confirmable, what she would do is take money from his card, send it to their PayPal, have them cash it out because according to her, oh, she she would tell them, oh, this is like, you know, you could use this, it's okay. Send it to their PayPal and have them cash it out and Western Union it, it to her. A win is a win. <laughs> a win is a win. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm sorry. I'm not mad at her at all for that shit. A win is a win. <laughs> Listen, get that money, baby. I ain't mad at that at all, but that was shit. I don't give a damn. What else we talk about? Okay. This was the this was the scam. Before I knew, I didn't know none of this shit. Kenny to this day cannot use PayPal along with a lot of those people that she sent it to. They can't use PayPal anymore. Because when he reported it to Amex, it closed out all of their accounts. On God, this is the truth. You're di- this is I did not know. I'm dealing with a fraudulent person, bro. And I'm, t- I'm going to show you guys how manipulative she is. She didn't tell me none of this shit. I had to find this out one day when we sit on the bed and I just see her face drop. I'm like, yo, what's wrong with you? She's like, oh my gosh. And then she really reveals everything. So now, like, again, we've already been spending so much time with one another. I'm already invested. I'm already there. Like she already has sucked me in. So now it's like, okay, I know this woman has no income. So she put a gun in your head. <clears throat> you knew all this shit about her, but you still let her move in. You let her leave her housing. Shit crazy. This was her form of income scamming and he caught her ass. I don't know why this wasn't red flags for me. I don't know, y'all. That's the only thing. This is why I'm still in therapy now dealing with this shit. Because I don't know why the fuck every single time I saw a new sign, I didn't just leave. I didn't just leave. I should have left so many times from the beginning, but I didn't. When it came to the housing situation, it's been made to say that I forced her to leave her housing. Who said that shit? This is again confirmable. Her housing was shaky as hell. The person that she was dealing with, there's a person that leads the modeling. Basically, a person really just rents a freaking apartment and they have connections with clubs, right? And that person houses these people <laughs> and they get them to go to the club. The person that was the, the person that was renting these apartments was like a, a, sh- a sh- shysty individual. Let's put it like that. He would have them moving from here to here, here to there, whatever the case may be. When she would tell me about it, this was the sob story I was getting for her. I don't know where I'm finna live. I don't know what's going on. Mind you, she does not have a job, confirmable. She don't have no job. I have a job. I'm spending all of this time with you. I'm waiting on her to say, that's my fault for fucking with a broke bitch. Like... She did all this shit, and it's my fault. She she made it very clear that she was a scammer in the beginning. She made it very clear that um she was broke. I fell in love with a broke bitch. Well, 
we all know she was broke. She told us she was broke. You knew she was broke. Why the fuck you was still with her? You said that you was with her because of your self-esteem. Now you said that the other day. You're telling me your housing is not shaking. You just revealed to me that you scammed this man for $40,000 and you're afraid he's going to beat your ass because he was so abusive in the relationship that you had with him. You done got your child's father's PayPal cut off. So now he is, it like, of course, upset because people need PayPal. And now you're here with me and now it's my turn. It's my turn for, the, for everything. Again, being the naive, wanting love, also dealing with a person who in the beginning you're sharing with me all of your woes and your baby, you know, like I said, your, your child's father don't, he don't want, he's not, he's not facilitating the relationship between you and your daughter, your housing doesn't work, you have no income, all of that stuff. What person in their right mind, well, okay, I can't even say that because I wasn't in my right mind, I guess. A I person guess. not in their right mind, what? in the state of vulnerability that was in, in the moment, is again going to feel like okay i need to help this person out i'm starting to fall in love with this person i need to help her out i in the beginning was going to work with her because she wanted to y'all be smart i was not feminine in order to be an atmosphere model you have to be feminine i did those things for her because we didn't want to part it's not me don't act, don't put that on me we I ain't gonna lie, she said we, but I didn't want to part. You were telling me so many crazy stories about the situations you were going through. You were telling me the person that you're calling your sister now was stealing from you. Stealing from you. That's how you told me one of your phones got lost because she stole your phone and the other one is broken. Like it's always a, an excuse. You telling me she going around spreading uh STDs to people and not telling them that she has it. These are the stories you were telling me. You're feeding me all of these crumbs and you already see the type of person I am. I'm going to help. That's just the person I am. Still to this day, I'm helping, helping, helping. So I help. I let you in to the apartment. <clears throat> Worst mistake ever. Now again, you have to understand that Lou is coming to my house where I live with my ex-girlfriend, who I was best friends with, and my friend, whom I've never had sex with. I, I might be a player player, but I'm not that much of a player to have two women who I'm, who, like, not. Nah. Okay? That's, that's a bit much. Lou was fully aware of it all to the point that when she met us, for the first time it came Yo, to the Ryan, apartment, she hilarious. brought them these huge ass avocados. It was the gift to the house. You knew the situation. One, one, one in the chat. Avocados. <laughs> you didn't care about the situation because you knew I was already your next mark. What? You didn't care. Ain't no. I could never argue with her, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. What does avocados have to do with her? You? being her next mark or whatever away somebody can get away with not telling a person that they live with their ex-girlfriend and, and, and friend which you call in a person i was having sex with who can get away with that how can you get away with that don't you think somebody would be upset and say something appreciate no i was passion. forthcoming from the jump forthcoming from the jump just like i was forthcoming about the fact that i was in a rocky relationship i've been i had been forthcoming from the jump i didn't want to start off no new relationship with bullshit lies that's so untrue she knew every single time she knew the next time she knew she knew every single time for survival reasons that i had to be in an uncomfortable situation i had to take her she had nowhere to go these were people i already knew they didn't have no problem housing me I had to convince them to house her because she had nowhere to go. This had nothing to do with. You didn't have to do shit. And that's when accountability comes into play. Like I ain't have to do it, but I did it because I loved her. You're making it seem like she put a gun to your head. This man. Uh, me. I didn't want her. I never lived with a girlfriend like that ever. I didn't want to have to take on this huge responsibility. I had no YouTube money. I just had social work money. I barely could take care of myself. 
But again, the loving, generous person that I am, the stupid person that I am, I did it. By the time she got into the house, I started to notice some things almost immediately. She was an atmosphere model, like I said. As an atmosphere model, their job is pretty much to drink and party. That's we their know. job. To know. bring on the atmosphere so everybody else has a good time. Everybody thinks the, pop is, the club is popping. The club music, and again, she said I was there, right? The club music was so bad, and I can honestly say this to y'all. I could see how anybody will become an alcoholic having to do that shit every night. Because to get through the night, hearing... Because <laughs> it was those type of clubs. You got to be plastered. What the hell is... <laughs> so she's coming from a situation where she's used to being plastered almost every night. To another situation with three working individuals who work throughout the whole day, come back, do it all again. Of course, I am okay with partying as long as I know the person I'm partying with has self-control. Very quickly into our relationship, I realized that Lou had a problem with liquor. And very quickly into our relationship, she admitted to having a problem with liquor. This was not a <clears throat> situation that came over time. No, it got I want to know about your problem with gambling. I want to know why you snatched her iPad out her hand and tossed that motherfucker and hung up on her best friend. I want to know um, where her money at from you, too. Why you ain't give her nothing. Uh, I want to know all of these things that you are not telling me. You are digging deeper into her flaws, and we already know she's flawed. One thing about a person admitting that they're flawed is that we already know. You flawed with one thing, you could be flawed with another. We all flawed. How about that? But when you don't say you're flawed and when you're not saying anything about your flaws, you're not, we don't, what the fuck? Nobody's going to be on your side with this at all. All right, bet. She scammed a nigga for 40000 That's Matthew Suzinski's fault. That's Zucchini's fault. Zucchini Amorosa, that is his fault. Do you understand me? Sound like to me he said, hey, baby, keep my car while I'm gone. Make, don't, don't run it up crazy. Or the nigga said she is. You know, ain't tricking if you got to spend what you need to spend. I bet the baby daddy wasn't tripping when he was getting that money in the PayPal. Let's talk about it. Baby daddy wasn't tripping when he was getting the motherfucking PayPal uh, uh, payments. Best friend, friends, or whoever the fuck got their PayPal shit now, they wasn't tripping getting that money. But when she stopped getting that money, now everybody on her ass like, damn, what the fuck, you fuck up my PayPal. You wasn't saying that when you was getting that money. You wasn't saying that. Okay. What happened? When you, why did you snatch her motherfucker iPad out her hand? Why are we no longer talking about fighting? You was talking about fighting like a motherfucker a couple of days ago. Now she ain't, she wasn't trying to fight you. Some things are missing here. Some missing stuff. Worse over time, but it didn't cut. It was here from the beginning. And the wig. Why you pull a wig off? All of this shit started before me, and I, that's another thing I need y'all to understand. This is a pattern that was established before me. me I just dealt with it for way too long. That's the only. Freaking thing I feel wrong about in this situation. In her drinking like that, and in me, of course, wanting her to be comfortable and stuff like that, in the beginning, I thought that it was okay to have liquor bottles. I always had liquor bottles in the, the, the apartment. We three uh, 20-something-year-olds at rooming in Brooklyn, New York. You know, living the Brooklyn, New York life. You have liquor bottles. I started to notice that I've never seen a person drink and consume that much liquor in a day. I would buy a big ass bottle of brandy because that's all I could afford in the moment. And by the time I got home, it would be done. A big bottle. And she would be knocked out every day. So eventually you coming home every day like, okay, you knocked out every day. I'm just giving, giving you a liquor supply. You got a full, fully stocked fridge. What am I doing? Right. Because that was your fault. Got it. And I need y'all to understand, throughout the situation, there was always times where I'm like, what the hell am I doing? We, we, that's what we trying to understand, because she didn't put a gun in your head and make her stay. You chose this life, nigga. It was death row for you. So the first thing I asked her was to please start cleaning at least. Okay. She didn't know how to do that. Everything she talking about. She was sweeping things under the bed. Just 
things that were not like what Nothing I would expect from a do. person who is an adult who has lived on their own. Like it was just every shortcut you could possibly take. That's what she would do just so mm-hmm. she could like appease me. And that's kind of what our whole relationship pattern became doing just enough in a moment to appease me until the next time where she realized I was finna really be over it. And then she would do just enough again. For her to make it seem like she just came to me as a person that was established is, is. Wow. That's what you got from that. Whoever your messenger was, shoot that motherfucker. She never says she came to you established. And I completely understand why you didn't watch the video. Cause when I was going through my situation, I ain't watch one of them bitches. Not one. Well, I watched half of one and I started to do a reaction on it. I was sounding just as crazy as your ass. But uh, after that, I didn't watch none of them. But I will tell you, it's the dumbest shit in the world to respond to something that you ain't even here. Man, she never said she was established. She actually told us everything you just said, aside from Michael Zucchini or Marcus Zucchini. Like, for real. The biggest bold faced lie. She came to me as a person who needed help, and I provided help. <laughs> Nobody that's established in their right mind is just gonna leave their job, leave everything, and just <laughs> oh, because God, a person Ryan. is so great. That's that's just doesn't make sense. Bro. And then that's- Ryan, she grabbed three things off the bottom shelf in the air, <laughs> not top shelf shit. The bottom, you hear me? Makes sense. Anybody that actually has a job knows that sh- that shit don't make sense. Not after the second date. Nobody's gonna do that. They might move in. Yes, you all lesbians, but nobody's gonna leave their job. You didn't have a job. You had housing. We Straight know. up, Lou enjoys sleeping. That's her That's her, her thing. She loves to sleep. If you know Lou, you know that she very well could be asleep. I believe that too. So her coming into the situation with me, not having to have a job because, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, this person is going through so much. Like I, in the beginning, I'm like, oh my God, I want to just take care of her. Eventually, I'm like, all right, now there's been some time. You're clearly not the best cleaner. So maybe you could help provide something to the situation. Hmm. So that at least I'm being helped financially since I am, you know, better at taking care of the house chores. Because, you know, you know, like you got to do something. All right. She is touching on the fact that she, uh, Lou said that she told her to quit her job. I believe that too. It was so hard to get her to want to work. It was a huge issue, huge issue the entire time. You know it was a huge issue because the job she actually took, and for her to act like she never had no job, I don't, I don't know if that was communicated, that she had jobs while we were living together. It's not like she didn't have no job. She worked at the 9-11 Museum, and she worked at the Brooklyn Kitchen. She communicated that to y'all many times before. That was all her money. All her money. Okay? She still never paid me for shit. Just putting that out. What was she supposed to pay you for? Out there. She still lived with me. And again, this started another pattern. Well, around- when did you pay her? That's what I want to know. Relationship. No matter what she was making, it didn't matter. I was responsible for like the living, everything. I was responsible for rent, responsible for electricity, responsible for everything because she cannot put anything in her name. Nothing. She can't. You was already responsible for it, friend. She can't even have a phone in her name. And we'll get to the phone situation as well. Uh, friend, you can have a phone in your name. What you need to do is go buy you a motherfucking iPhone from, you can get it offline, off or up, anywhere. I bought London phone for $500. London has a full iPhone on a Verizon service. Okay. You can get a phone. And I was there before on that, like, I can't get shit. I can't get an apartment. I can't get a phone. I can't. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. You got people like this telling you you can't. You can so when some when a, when you're in a situation where everything has to be in your name and a person is choosing not to pay you, what choices do you have? Huh? All you can do is pay for it. And y'all also have to understand that if she's saying that she left her job in the beginning and you stayed with me and it took us a long time to see a dollar from YouTube who was supporting you the whole time? Me and Kenny the whole time. Matt already cut you off. He was looking for you. You were scared to go to see your mother in DC because he was looking for you. 
You only had me and Kenny in that moment. Not by choice. For neither one of us. Not by choice. Trust me. It was a choice. You could have sent her right on her damn grown ass way. You wanted her there. My circumstance. Ugh. And the fact that you would make it look like this shit was my decision is crazy as hell. That's crazy. That's so freaking off the chain crazy. I can't even understand it. How you would try to be that. Like, how do you still have more room for manipulation? How do you still have that? She apparently mentioned that she wore synthetic wigs because that's all she had the money for. Go look at Lou's whole history. Lou always wore synthetic wigs. She used to brag about this. We called it 88. It was her jam. How the, how the hell are you going to blame me for you buying that shit for yourself? That had nothing to do with me. I don't know nothing about hair. <clears throat> When y'all was making thousands of dollars on YouTube, all she's saying is she could have got a little, what you call them wigs these days, y'all, a little Beijing, a little goddamn uh, real hair. When you was making all them thousands from YouTube, that's what she, <clears throat> that's what she talking about. But I digress. Look at my hair! Look damn good to me. Yeah. I did everything in my and this is without her working before there was even a youtube to keep her on the same platform as me i didn't have to do none of that i am not your husband your wife oh. i am not your mother or your daddy i did that out of love this is before she even had a job ever in this situation confirmable that is very rare that lou can keep a job in any situation She's been fired multiple times, including when we were in a relationship. She was fired from 9-11 for cussing an old lady out. What? I've never been fired from a damn thing. Look at work ethic, people. Look at work ethic. Just look at it. All of this shit is right in front of you. No, 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 no. We see that. You chose to stay. We already know that. We absolutely know that she wasn't trying to work. We absolutely know everything that you just said other than Mike Saucini. We already know about all of these things. You put yourself through this. Because fool me once. Shame on me. But fool me twice. Well, shame on you. And fool me three times. You know what? Fuck the peace sign. Load the chopper. Whatever. That boy said that time. But six years of being fooled. <laughs> Look at the even editing of the video. We did this shit together for five years. Do you know how many times in those five years I begged her to learn how to do it so that I didn't have to take on the breath of that work and it was never, like, no paying attention to at all? She didn't like doing YouTube. And she also didn't want to do work when she wasn't getting paid for it. Gotta say, I don't blame her. Been there, done that. <laughs> Falling asleep next to me while I'm trying to show her what each button means because she has no... Not only was you not giving her no money because we're not talking about just giving money. Like, the bills paid, bet. We look good, bet. Let me break you off your piece because you got half on this video. I always to, told TT, baby, when we start this channel, let's just get the bills paid. But when this bitch go up, we split this motherfucker in half. It's me and you. Hello? The amount of money they was getting, I would have got an editor. We would have handled that. And we still can when we got them get this shit together. You ain't even have to edit. You could have just paid the editor. And y'all could have been getting y'all half. No <sighs> interest in that at all? At all. None. But it's not that she don't have no interest in it. It's that if somebody else will do it for her, she will always take that choice. Always. And if she realizes she's in a position where a person has no choice but to do it, oh, you really in for a rude awakening day because she's definitely not going to do it then. I'm being accused of isolating somebody and I just don't understand how that even can be an argument when I literally moved my whole life 
to be five minutes away from your family. I literally took every single one of my belongings and moved it to the closest apartment I could find to your daughter. Because I... Man, is it a part two or did you forget how to edit, friend? Okay. <sighs> <clears throat> I just want to say this. If you're dating a woman, you see how she is in the beginning. That's absolutely how she could potentially stay. Especially if you ain't motivating her to do something else. You was asking of her to be her. You was asking 55, 55 in the chat. You was asking her to be your employee. You wanted her to edit videos, do the work, do everything. You keep the bag, go to LA, blow the money. You just call a spade a spade with that one. In the beginning, she was fucking with um, Michael uh, Lemondini and... Gamble, well, not gamble. Got his ass for forty bands. Jokes on him. Um, also, how the hell she get the car? I'm sure he gave it to her because niggas want to know. Like, ain't tricking if you got his shit, but you swipe out, do your thing till he's seeing a forty thousand dollar bill. <clears throat> not only that, Mister Kenny wasn't complaining in the time when he was getting them payments, so he can't complain about not having a PayPal anymore. Um. That did not tell us why the hell you snatched her iPad and threw it. That did not tell us why um, you pulled her damn wig out. That did not tell us why she was even fighting you anymore. Because your problem ain't even the fighting anymore. So where the hell did that go? Um, we know that she was basically working for housing. We knew that. She already told us. He was taking her phone. Not giving her no money, just holding on captivity. And um, I'm trying to figure out why, why we ain't talking about none of that. But y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Um, I just don't feel like she held her, you know, held her accountability in this video at all. So that's where I'm at with it. Uh, I'm sure something else going to come out because now they about to start spilling all the unnecessary beans like. Like, you know, when you're in relationships, there'd be deep shit going on. Real, real, real deep shit. But you really get into people's, you know, shit. And we all got our shit now. I don't know your shit because you ain't saying none of it. But I know all of hers. So I'm just trying to see what's your shit. You know, what you going to take accountability for? What did you do wrong in this? If you ask me, you picked up a child that you couldn't afford in the beginning. And then after that you started to just continue to treat her like a child. That's it. Uh, but I'm done with this. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Please comment it. I want to see it. Love y'all. Hell yeah.